Okay, so this is unofficial, word on the street, um, on the QT. You can get the entire feature set, the entire feature set of Resolve 18 on your iPad. And the way that you do this is uh, through keyboard shortcuts, essentially. You will need an external keyboard to do this. I have the uh, keyboard case set up here. You could also have a Bluetooth keyboard. Once you have that, you can press Command Option K and that brings up your keyboard customization menu. Once you're in the keyboard customization menu, scroll down until you reach the workspace section, click on that, and then on the right hand side just here, you just need to find the area which says show page. And then for each of those pages, color, cut, deliver, edit, Fairlight, Fusion and Media, you add a keystroke in order to be able to pull that up. Now I've already gone ahead and done that just here, but supposing that I hadn't, and supposing that I wanted to make a keystroke for the Fairlight page there, I'll just press Command Option Shift and, oop, try that again. Command Option Shift 5, and I've made that keystroke available. Now I've just gone through and done Command Option Shift and a number uh, because a lot of the other keystrokes that I was trying were already assigned to something else within Resolve and you don't necessarily want to uh, mix up your keystrokes and use something which is meant to be used for something else and then find out you lost that. So that string I found wasn't associated with anything. Now once you've done that, you click Save and I recommend saving it as a custom keyboard setup. So save that and close that and then you can just press the keystroke. So Fairlight was the one that I just did with five, Command Option Shift five. And at the bottom, Fairlight pops up and you have access to Fairlight. Now that is true for all of them. So we can get to the full edit page just there. And we can get to the delivery page. I've added them in a weird order, but yeah, there we go. And then we can also get to, let's see, where is it? Fusion. So you can open up Fusion on your iPad. And from what I've seen, only been with it for a few minutes now, just uh, testing this out. The functionality is there, whether or not um, your device is able to cope with that. And there's probably a good reason that Blackmagic haven't enabled this off the bat. And it's probably a stability thing. And also they're wanting to put this out there and make it a really good user experience. and well they probably haven't put the time in yet to get all of those other pages to the point where they will have that great user experience so tell me what you think about that you actually have just downloaded the full version of davinci you haven't downloaded a version that is um, going to be updated in the future it's all there already it's kind of nuts uh, i'm sure there'll be some caveats with this you do need the external keyboard to access it i haven't found another way of doing that with any kind of virtual keyboard um, I suppose possibly you could with your iPhone if you were using an app that was a keyboard to connect to your iPad. You'll have to work that out yourself. But yeah, Command Option K to bring up the keyboard menu, and then you're into it, add in those keystrokes, and you've got the full version of Resolve there, which is insane. It was already crazy enough that we were able to get access to this, and now we've just found out, actually, it's all there under the hood, hidden from view, and you can just bring it right back up to the top and yeah, do whatever you want. You can get to the delivery page, you can deliver in any combination of resolutions that you want just there. Have fun. Tell me what you think.